And I'm Maisie. We have a story we want to tell you. And it's all about how we helped 253 turtles. And still counting. So our story begins this past summer. We are on a family camping trip in Indiana. And we woke up one morning and we found this guy. He is an eastern fox turtle, a species of concern in Indiana. That means they're not endangered right now, but they're getting close to it. He was seen right in the middle of the road. A road is not a good place for turtles. Did you know that thousands of turtles are killed on the road every year? That's good. So we had to move this guy to safety. We gently picked him up and carried him to a pond on the other side of the road where he'll be safe from cars. There he goes, one safe turtle. It felt really good to save that turtle. And later on that same camping trip, we saved another box turtle. This one had fallen off a sidewalk and he was stuck upside down. So we picked him up and moved him to safety. Then later on that summer, we rescued another turtle crossing the road. This one we rescued in Wisconsin. And we think it's a wood turtle, which is an endangered species. So in the summer of 2021, we rescued three turtles from the world. And you know what? We really liked saving all those turtles. So we decided we didn't want to stop there. We wanted to save more turtles. But summer's over now. There are no more turtles crossing the road. They're all buried in the mud somewhere, hibernating for the winter. What else could we do to save some turtles right now? So we started thinking about this problem. And then we had an idea. Last year for Christmas, our grandma adopted some monarch butterflies for us. By adopt, I don't mean taking them home. I mean virtual adopting. Grandma donated to the World Wildlife Fund and in return, we got a certificate of adoption and these cute monarch stuffies. The money she donated was used to help protect wildlife. Maybe we could do something like that for turtles. Yeah, that's a great idea. And it does so happen. Now it's almost my birthday. <laughs> And so we found the sea turtle conservancy. And for my birthday, we virtually adopted a sea turtle. The donation money was used for sea turtle research. So the way this research works, they find a turtle, then put a tracker on its shell, then track the turtle's location for about a year until the tracker falls off. And the data is used to help turtles. That's cool. We chose a turtle named Rhea. And we can actually see all the tracking data and find out where she is at any time. Wait, now she's in the Bahamas. Lucky turtle. I wish I could be in the Bahamas. <laughs> that would be so nice. So now we save three wild turtles from the road and help the turtle we should. What else can we do to help turtles? We're going to need some help for this one. So we grabbed our mom and asked her to help us with some research. What other turtle programs are out there? And that's how we found the Billion Baby Turtles program. This program works by protecting turtle nesting beaches. 
and every dollar helps save ten baby turtles. Ten turtles from one dollar. That's awesome. But we had a problem. We both already had our birthdays this year, and we didn't have any money to donate. But maybe we can earn some. So we sat down and started thinking, and thinking, and thinking. Got it. We would do chores around the house to earn twenty-five dollars to donate to Billy and Baby Turtles. So we made a deal with Mom. Twenty-five dollars. Time to save two hundred and fifty baby sea turtles. Aww, look how cute those baby turtles are. Those are the baby turtles. So many baby turtles. Can we see them one more time? They are so cute. If only we can actually see them for ourselves. Even though the organization that runs Billy and Baby Turtles does do turtle tours, we can't actually go on one right now. But you know what? Sea turtles aren't the only turtles in the world that need our help. Actually, more than half the turtle species in the world are threatened or endangered. That's a lot. Maybe we can find some turtles closer to home that need our help too. And maybe we can see them for ourselves. That'd be really cool. So it's back to the drawing board. And guess what? We did find an adopted turtle program closer to home. So close, it's basically in our backyard. That's awesome. We found the Lake County Forest Preserve District adopt the turtle program. The turtle species they are protecting is the Blanding Turtle. Doesn't it look like he's smiling? These guys are so cute, and they're endangered. They're endangered because of habitat loss and predators. Blanding turtles are very small. Grown-up turtles reach about ten inches long. And baby turtles are really tiny, and so are their eggs. They're like a little bite-sized snack for predators, like skunks and raccoons. So this program has come up with a good way to make sure more baby turtles survive. They find the mama turtles and they bring them back to lay their eggs at the conservation facility. They lay their eggs there, and then the mamas go back to the wild. And the eggs hatch at the center. That way, they're safe from all the predators. And they raise the babies for a year or two until they're big enough to survive. And then they release them back to the wild. And guess what? If we raise enough money to donate to this program, we get to name the turtles we're saving. And even cooler than that. We get to meet them. We really, 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 <laughs> we really want to meet the turtles. But there are no more birthdays coming up, and we already cleaned the whole house. What else can we do? Hmm. It's time to go get mom again. <laughs> So we all sat down together to think about it. 
and we decided we needed to do a fundraiser. We're going to make turtle themed bracelets and sell them to raise money for turtles. We designed the bracelets ourselves and we found a bead supplier that supports crafting villages in Africa. So these bracelets are not just helping turtles, they're helping people too. These beads are all made by hand. Bonus! For every bracelet we sell, one dollar will go to billion baby turtles and help save ten baby sea turtles. And the rest will go to the planning turtles. That's a lot of turtles. So as of right now, we save three turtles from the road and 250 baby sea turtles, plus help with turtle research. And our gut helps the landing turtles too. I think we're doing pretty good here. Yeah, me too. And did you know that there's ways to help turtles without donating any money at all? The best way to do that is to stop using single-use plastic. Things like switching from plastic straws to biodegradable straws or reusable straws. From plastic bottles to reusable bottles. And switching from plastic shopping bags to reusable shopping bags. Why are plastic shopping bags bad for turtles? Because one of the sea turtles' favorite snacks is jellyfish. In an empty plastic bag, folding around in the ocean, looks a lot like a jellyfish. Many turtles accidentally end up eating shopping bags, thinking it's a jellyfish, and that can kill them. So we gotta get rid of plastic shopping bags. You should also never litter. And better yet, when you go on a hike or to the beach, pick up some of the trash you see, so it doesn't end up in the oceans, the lakes, or the streams. All the places where the turtles live. A few other things you can do are don't buy things made from tourist shell and never take home a turtle you found from outside. You can also do any of the things we did in this video. If you see a turtle crossing the road, you can help it walk. Thus, make sure your parents are there to help and never walk out in front of cars. You can ask to adopt a turtle for your birthday or a holiday, and you can do a fundraiser for turtles too, just like we're doing. Or if you want to help us save some turtles, ask your parents to click the link in the description and check out our bracelets. Together we can help save thousands of turtles. Alright everyone. We hope you liked our turtle story. Check back soon to see how the Blind Names Turtle Project is going. We're going to have to come up with some names for the baby Blind Names Turtles. And hopefully, we'll get to introduce you to the baby Blind Names Turtles. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And subscribe so you can find out what our next wildlife project is going to be. Until next time, everyone. Bye. Bye.